Yeah, playing against Piast was always, uh, I remember it was always a tough place to come and play in, initially when I got the call um, from the president to my manager about coming, um, which made it an easy decision for me to come. It was, was um, yeah, I remember my first interview here uh, when asked about Piast and, and what I knew it was, uh, like I said, it was an easy decision because I, I knew the club from playing against them and um, I knew it was a different, a difficult place to come and, and a club that was trying to look to go in the right direction. Hello, I'm Tom Haitley. I'm very happy to be a new player in Piast. Shin dobri, jestem Tom Haitley, jestem Novi Pukasjem Piast. I knew it was an ambitious club, that, a good, stable club that wanted to go in the right direction and, and maybe push for the top eight. I think is the, the target realistically is to finish in the top eight. Um, I knew that coming here. Did I know um, we would go on to have two seasons like we've had? Um, no, I always hoped for it. Um, footballers always want to win everything and, and look to be a champion of of the best league in the country is 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 something I would never forget. Like to put it in perspective, when when I left Dundee, I left Dundee and I didn't have a club for four months, um, and then the phone rang to came here and. When I left Dundee, I was in a bad place. It was difficult. I, I was trying to train on my own for four months, um, and it was the hardest point in my career. Um, and so, without Piaz giving me a chance of of coming to play football, enjoy my football, um, yeah, I'll be forever grateful for Piaz. came to come to Piast and uh, offered me a lifeline if you like it was an opportunity to come back into football a league I knew um, and I felt like I had something to prove you know a lot of a lot of people were sort of writing maybe writing me off as a player not giving me an opportunity um, and Piast gave me that opportunity and uh, like I say I, I will always be forever grateful to Piast for, for if the president in the first place for picking up the phone and calling um, the coach for, for giving me the opportunity and the trust to play uh, teammates it's, be, it's been um, an amazing two years for me I, I, I've, um, I didn't expect to be champions and, and have two medals in two years so um, yeah uh, forever grateful Buddy's a top guy I think we're quite similar personalities we're, we're both very open friendly always chatting like to, like to enjoy ourselves we like to enjoy work um, yeah, he he was the first person to come and say hello, introduce himself to me. Um, said he wanted to improve his English, so I said I could help a little bit with him. Yeah, we ended up rooming together. We we, we um, shared. A, I sat next to him in the changing room for the the two and a half years. So, um, Buddy's a top guy. Somebody I'll, I'll forever stay in touch with. He's uh, got a beautiful family that you know, his wife, my friend, wife, my children, his children are friends and. And stuff like that. We've we've uh, built up a good relationship in football. Sometimes in football, it's you know you meet a lot of people, you play with a lot of players, and you move on kind of thing. But um, yeah, Paddy's a, a top top guy. To go the whole nine yards is uh, to go all the way, basically. Um, yeah, you're going the whole nine yards. You, you're not doing anything half-hearted. You're you're in it to win it, if you like. You. Yeah, going the whole nine yards. Looks good though. Suits me. Champions for sure. Winning the league was. I was joking for months before we won the league in the change room, lifting the trophy like yeah, the champions, all this stuff and. You know, you never. I was half joking. I'm very relaxed. I like to relax before games and enjoy. And the closer you get, the closer you get. It's like this could happen. You know, there was a few games before the end. I think when we won away in Legia, I was like, this could actually happen now. And uh, amazing. That, that for sure was was my my highlight. Joel tried to tell me that Ecuador are the best at bikes. Impossible. Impossible. Spain has someone good. Spain. Hey, Alberto Contador. Was this? But Chris Froome. Who did this? He won Giro Italia to the France. When? But Chris Froome's better. When? when? Five years ago. Yeah, but oh, this is a long time. Fifty years ago. Five years ago. But Chris Froome is better. Or maybe Rogic. 
Chrome is best. Chrome is injured. Now. Okay, but before he was injured. No, no, now he's injured. That doesn't <laughs> count. You have someone in Denmark? Some. Uh, all, they have, this. all they have is riding around the river, like again. Oh, behind, behind the river. Behind the river. One, three times. What? Two different. Yeah, in 1872. Hey, this Cancelada. Before Cancelada. 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 No, he's Swiss. No. Okay. No, so you are. You are out there. Huh? Look at this guy, coach. They have Contador and he thinks that he's the best. Mikel Landa, who is it? Mikel Indurain. He's making up names. Uh, yeah, no, no, nobody knows so these yeah. names. What? <laughs> Mikel Indurain, do you know? Mikel Indurain. Man, I don't even know what you're saying. Again? Okay. We're talking about what's the football? Mikel Indurain. No, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. You no, know? no. Yeah. But from the 50s. He won five times Tour de France. When? From the 50s. Tour de France? Yeah, when? when? Do you know Tour de France? Or who is? When? What? what is? This is uh, when, when they go to Switz. <laughs> but when did he win? One time ago. Like yeah, 15 years ago, Brazilians. It's typical Spain. Ah, look at these names, man. You have some names? Then I will say also some names. Danish names. You don't have yeah. to. Danish names. Why yeah. is this? Yeah. This. this is the only one. Yeah. Be behind it, behind it. Uh, you know? Also, yeah. you're good at handball. Handball? You're good at handball? Oh, no, no God. Fight. Just say sport and I will tell you. Football player. Skiing. Football player. Ah, skiing. Ah, football player. Who? Who is it? <laughs> hey, it's good. Hey, that's your roommate. That is your roommate. He doesn't even know your name. For your, for your team, all black, and you're you're saying what? You know, you know, you know. Hey, you know. I think I developed more technically. I've, I've become a lot more comf uh, confident, a lot more comfortable on the ball. Um, I've always said I wanted to play in Europe for that reason. I don't know whether it comes with going on being champions and then it gives you extra confidence to, to play your game. Um, I enjoyed last year a lot of, of well, actually, the, the champion season playing with Jiku was was good fun for me. He, you know, he would sit a little bit more and I could go forward and, and join in a little more and um, develop that side of my game as well. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's developed as, as on the pitch and off the pitch. I, I've said I've wanted to live abroad to develop as a person as well. You know, living different cultures and and being in Glavice has, has given us given us as a family for that for sure. Yeah, yeah, some nice goals. I would have liked more if I've come close a few times and, and hit the post a few times. Um, but that's football. All in all, has been a, a successful time for the team um, and a successful time for me. Very friendly club. The fans have been very welcoming. Um, my family love coming to the stadium, the atmosphere that's created. If you're walking around town, everybody's um, happy, saying hello, all those type of things. It's, I think it comes with success as well. We, we've been a good, successful team for two years, so it's. Uh, I think everybody's enjoying the period at the moment, and um, look, rightly so. It's uh, Glavice is a great club. It's got great people in the club, uh, great people supporting the club, and. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been great to get to know the fans and, and get to know people here as well. Yeah, I'm still young, but look, I'm, I'm 30 years old, so I know realistically, I know the way football is. Um, and I know if, if I want to make the most of, of the seasons that have come and gone recently, um, the position we're in, then now's the time for me to do that. You know, uh, that's, that's the, the honest approach to it. That's, that's all I could say, really, is, you know, uh, I understand the situation I'm in and um, as much as I would love to stay in Glavice and, and be a part of the future of the club, um, I think now is the best time for me to, to go with my family, um, enjoy somewhere new for a few years before we, we move on to life. Found another telling me
daughters love being in Poland. She's um, she's been in preschool and love going to preschool. We've we added a son to the family since we've been here. Um, so Teddy's first game was coming to watch in, in Glavice. So that'll be nice. That was nice. Um, yeah, amazing. My wife's enjoyed herself. It's um, look, it was a difficult decision to leave Piast. It was you know it's 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 not an easy decision after you've had a. A successful time but not only on the pitch but off the pitch you know it's, it's been it's been perfect in every way we, we've really enjoyed ourselves so uh yeah it makes decisions harder to move on thank you uh really no, there's not not much else i can say I've, I've i've had the most unbelievable two two and a half years and i i genuinely hand on heart mean that i've, I've had um experiences that i will never ever forget um, would love to come back and, and visit the fans, visit the club and games in the future. Um, you've given uh, myself, my family, um, a beautiful home. Uh, my daughter's picked up Polish. She loves wearing a Glavice shirt. I'm sure she'll keep wearing it. Um, I think together we've we've achieved unbelievable things. Uh, two medals in two years is something that uh, probably I wasn't expecting to happen, hope would happen. Um, but never really expected it to. So, so as it happened, all I can say is thank you. I, I hope you've enjoyed having me here as much as I've enjoyed playing for, for the club. Um, yeah, it's been amazing, and, and hopefully I will see you all again soon.